Hey guys, so I got a Goodwill haul for you today. I actually only went to Goodwill because I was looking for pants for my oldest son. He is just growing like a weed and having a hard time keeping up with his sizes. But of course, I made the mistake of looking around and I found all kinds of goodies. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got that wasn't pants. <laughs> so the first thing I picked up was this picture here. It was $3. Um, I mainly got it for, for the frame. I like the yellow frame. It has kind of a cool texture. It's pretty vintage actually. It has the cardboard on the back. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that off and put something else into it. Um, I'm sure I'm probably end up like gluing something onto the back of whatever I put in it. But I don't mind the picture in it as is either. But I wanted the frame for something else so I'm gonna have to figure that out. But I thought that was really cute. I picked up these cups here for my son, he's two. I'm trying to get him out of the sippy cup phase and using regular cups, but he still spills stuff a lot when I try to do that. So where these are larger, I figured if I just like filled it about, you know, a little under halfway. So when he's walking around and not paying too much attention, because he doesn't sit down very long to drink, but he, you know, he gets up and walks. I think this will help contain it from spilling too much and we'll get them started on using regular cups. So I got eight cups total for the set was a dollar and then the set was a dollar. I love these colors too. I was pretty happy when I found this Holly Hobby painting. It was hand done. It was a little bit of staining here. I think I can scrub this off, but it was only a dollar. It's even on the vintage wood here. It has the nice old style clasp. Um, somebody painted this in 1974. It was only a dollar. I just absolutely love this. I had a bedspread with her on it when I was a little girl. So that just kind of reminded me of that. This sign here I do like, but it's more primitive and I didn't actually get it for myself. I got this to resell. That's one way that I'm able to keep up with my thrifting habit is to p purchase items that I know will sell really easy that I can either double or triple my money on so I know this stuff is really popular online sales group so I'm gonna go ahead and sell this but I thought that was a good deal for only two dollars and I'm sure I can at least double that if not triple that. I picked up my two-year-old this nice warm winter hat here. I love the colors of this um, I'm not a fan of New York like sports teams, but we do love the city of New York. We visited there on my 27th birthday and it was around Christmas time. I'm a December baby, so we got to see all the nice Christmas decor and everything. I actually saw um, Elf. They had a play like the Elf movie live and that was pretty neat. This is only $2. I thought these were great colors on him. I love the green and the gray and it just has a nice pattern here and it should be nice and warm for him tried it on him already so it fits his big noggin so this should work out for at least part of the winter. This here is a pretty good size salsa type bowl. Um, they had two others that were similar to this. They were just different patterns. I kind of wanted all three of them but they were three dollars a piece and this one was the only one that I really really liked. The other ones were just okay and I only really needed one bowl for Taco night, so this is a uh, Suzipakin, I can't quite read that um, brand. Looks like a pretty nice brand bowl and I love the colors. I think that was a pretty good deal. Okay, so this next item I picked up is a Dutch oven made by Austria Email. It's an early 1970s piece. It's a steel material. It's in really good condition. This, um, they had it labeled set of two for five dollars and when I got up to the counter I was I was a little confused by that because I didn't see any other piece and I wasn't sure if that just meant the lid was the set of two with this or if it was another piece because to me this would just be you know one piece <laughs> but I asked her I said this says set of two, does does that mean, you know, there's another piece or is that with the lid? And she's like, nope, $2 for, for, for both or whatever. 
and she only ended up charging me two dollars for this instead of five I don't know I was confused by what she was saying I guess she was confused by what I was saying I had it on the counter so I guess it was up to her to really look at the price so I don't feel too bad about it since I donate and shop there a lot but anyways I ended up getting this for two dollars and underneath I just set that on there because this was actually rolled up and I was trying to flatten it out so you guys could see it this was only a dollar I really like maps I think they're pretty neat and this one was cool it has all the routes on it so this looks like a I don't know, something you probably see in the classroom in like the 80s or 90s and I thought this was pretty nice it has a little bit of tear on it but I wanted to try to find a frame for this a little tear there too but for a dollar I thought this was nice and hopefully I can find a frame yeah so this is the back side of the map I didn't realize this was on there so it says census 1980 so I believe this obviously would have been from the 80s so that's pretty cool has all the populations of all the places so that's pretty neat to see I'm sure that has doubled if not tripled since then but that's pretty cool I was going to show you an up close look at the census of 1980 in the overall United States. Pretty interesting numbers. So this next piece I thought was pretty neat. I love the color green. It has some white speckles in it. This is actually a ceramic piece and I didn't realize it but um, I had just noticed very faintly, I don't know if you can see that on the bottom, it says Jamie and then 1980 right there so someone actually made this in 1980 and they did a really good job it's a really nice quality i've done pottery before um i took a class in high school but i never made anything quite this nice so that's pretty cool that's handmade so i didn't really need another coffee mug but i thought this was just too cute to pass up on the inside it says good morning sunshine it says that on both sides it's a nice big cup and nice and bright and cheery yellow so i thought that was a good deal for i believe it was a dollar yeah a dollar this piece here was only a dollar i wasn't quite sure what i was going to use it for probably like you know post-its or something but i'm gonna like paint this up and stuff it's a little rough looking but yeah, if you have any ideas of what I could use this for, let me know in the comments below. I thought it was pretty neat. And it's like kind of a shelf area right here too. Hmm. Yeah, let me know what you think I should use this for. I also picked up this neat little gadget here. You can screw this into the ceiling or the like cabinet or something. It spins. So it's only a dollar. When I first saw it, I thought maybe it'd be good for my necklaces, and then I was thinking maybe, you know, spatulas and stuff like that in the kitchen, but we just started boarding up one of our windows that we no longer really want. It's kind of leaking air, and we're getting ready for winter, and we kind of have a huge window right beside it, and it just kind of looked awkward, and I wanted the wall space anyways. But anyway, <laughs> um, we never seem to be able to find our paintbrushes and we always end up purchasing new which you know the Dollar Tree sells a big pack for you know a dollar so it's not that big of a deal but I was thinking maybe we could just put our paintbrushes on this since they always have the holes in the handles so maybe I'll use it for that. If you have any other ideas that I could use this for definitely let me know in the comments below. I am open to suggestions. So I thought these are pretty cute. I actually never really decorate for Thanksgiving because we always go to other people's houses for Thanksgiving, but my husband was actually talking about maybe just doing our own this year since, you know, we're starting to have our own little family here and our family situations on both sides is starting to get a little, you know, complicated with marriages and kids and stuff. So we're not sure if anyone's even gonna like invite us this year for anything, if it, they have anything going on, but. So I got this anyways for, just in case we do our own Thanksgiving, which I'm sure we're gonna do a little small one for just us, whether we go to family members on the actual Thanksgiving day or not, but I thought these would be cute on the table. Just little candle holders. 
they were a dollar a piece. This is just one of those plant hangers. This was a dollar. That was in pretty good condition. I've been looking for one of these. I was gonna actually make some of my own, but for a dollar, I figured it saved me some work and I just grabbed this one. My husband actually got to go shopping with me this trip and he actually picked this out. This is a card game put on by Jägermeister, which we kind of laughed because, um, do you say, somewhere it said, oh, drink responsibly. And I don't know where he saw it. Maybe it was on the card itself. I'm not sure, but he said this was not to be used as a drinking game. He saw that written on there somewhere, which is pretty funny since it was put out by Jaeger. But anyways, this is one of, one of the cards look like you just give the person like these hints and they have to try to guess this word so i thought that'd be fun for us if we ever have a quiet moment and just wanted to kill some time or something so we got that i thought this piece was pretty interesting it's a puzzle actually it has a little travel tag on there it has the washington monument and stuff there so I actually just like the case of it. I'm not sure I'll do the puzzle, but maybe I will, or maybe I'll just gift this, I'm not sure. It looked like it was not even really used. I tried to open it up in the store, but they had this taped down. But I thought this was pretty neat. It has nice leather straps on it and everything. Really cute. Only a dollar. I picked up one more fall item, which is kind of funny because I'm just about ready to start decorating for Christmas. I'm one of those People like to decorate early, right around Halloween time, but this was a nice pillow for $3. It's a real soft, almost like velvety material, but I got this with the intention of making some kind of a pillowcase to go over it for the upcoming season as well that I can, you know, take off and just uh, use this for next fall as well, but it's a good size pillow for $3. Throw pillows are super expensive, so if I can thrift a nice pillow for cheap, I definitely do that. So I only planned on getting pants for my son, but he did need a few uh, long sleeve shirts. Of course, this is short sleeve, but I just grabbed this because I thought this was really cute. I love the uh, white detailing in the black t-shirt and the cute little gray pocket. I thought this would look really nice on him. It's a four... Four five and it's Cherokee brand and this was blue tag so blue was the color of the day or week whatever they do so it was half off so this was only a dollar I also picked him up this thermal here it was blue tag so half off so a dollar as well it's a nice little button up this is Garanimals brand in 4T and I'll remind you my son is only two and he wears 4T clothing, even some 5T, so I'll just give you an idea of how large he is growing. We also got him this Captain America t-shirt because it was half off, so it was a dollar. This is in size 4-5. I thought this was a pretty good deal for a dress shirt. I wasn't really thinking about dress shirts, but we do have, you know, a few parties and occasions coming up, so he will need this for only a dollar, it was blue tag, so that was a great deal. And this is 5T in Carter's brand. The last few items are the pants I got on. These ones are actually the only ones that I'm gonna fit on. These are just pajama pants. I couldn't pass them up with the footballs. Me and my husband are big football fans, so these were two dollars. They are, I'm not sure, Let's see. One's a Carter's brand too, in size five. These gray ones are 4T and I tried them on them and they did go on them, but they're just a, kind of a little snug. They're not gonna fit in very long. So I'm gonna go ahead and return these. The other pair of pants I got for him that were $2 are an Old Navy five regular boot cut. These are really cute, but too tight in the waist and it's odd because they have these um, stretch out things. My husband put it on them and he said that's as far as they went and stuff. So I'm gonna return these. They fit on there a little long in the legs, but not too bad for fives. 
but I don't know, we have the hardest time trying to find actual jeans for him to wear. He's so stocky. He's not he's not even really chubby, he's just stocky. <laughs> um, it's just hard, so usually we just keep him in elastic sweatpants, which, you know, looks okay for a little kid for now, but I would like to find him some nicer jeans that actually will fit on him. Maybe I can find something with a better stretch to the waist. But yeah, that's my Goodwill haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this from me, definitely subscribe and we will catch you next time.